John Fu has been somebody I've had my eye on for a long time, so I was really excited to check him out in the lead role in this new film, and he did not disappoint. So folks, let's jump into the review of that new film right now. What's up, everybody, and welcome back to the channel today for another review. And today, folks, we're going to be reviewing the new film, Last Resort, which is coming to theaters January 6th and on demand in digital January 10th. Now, this film, I'm going to start off by saying that the plot did not reinvent the wheel. There's definitely elements of this uh, of the plot that, in the film that you definitely will be familiar with in tons of other films that you watch. But I didn't come into this film because of the plot. I came into the film because the, the plot was very familiar and very shallow to the point that I knew that the film was going to be action packed and truly about the choreography and it did not disappoint and John was fantastic as the lead in this film. So if you're looking for a good martial arts and action film, um, yeah, this is one to check out. And I did get to check it out digitally. I would have loved to see this in theaters. Um, I probably should still check it out in theaters on that note um, because I just was on the edge of my seat the entire time with the combat in this film. You know, that's where this film bread and butter was at, was truly the choreography. John was fantastic. Uh, along, uh, across from John was Clayton Norcross, who plays Cooper. John plays Michael. Michael is, uh, well, Michael's a, a former Special Forces soldier. Um, he's having some turmoil, <laughs> to say the least, um, within his household with his wife. Now, granted, you know, him and his wife, Kim, Kim uh, played by Julia Luck, is Malone, um, who their daughter, Anna, played by Angelina, is Malone. So, yes, Julia Luck and Angelina are real-life mother and daughter. So, you can definitely feel that chemistry amongst the two of them. Um, you know, Kim and Michael are not on the same page. Michael has kind of really given up as it appears, but if you look deeper and deeper, it looks like there happens to be some trauma involved with here with his time when he was active in the special forces. Um, but he just sits around and plays video games and watch TV and Kim is clearly looking at him like, you need to get off that couch and go do something. And then their daughter, uh, Anna, who basically falls casualty to all of this because she is seeing their uh, her parents do a lot of that uh but anyway kim and anna they go to the bank just a regular day go to the bank and whatnot but well it is anything but a regular day because now the bank is being robbed and they become hostages and michael now sees this on tv and now he knows he must goes and save his wife and daughter now a bank robbery you would think that they're there for money absolutely not they're here for something a lot more uh a lot more dangerous, a lot more detrimental to society because they're here for this um, highly lethal toxin, which is being, st which was stolen from the vault, which now puts the entire world in danger. And now you have one of the best to do it in uh, John Fu's character, Michael, to go in there to face his army alone. And when he goes there, it becomes the big mixing bowl of coincidences because yeah, <laughs> he sees people from his past, and let's just say there's a little bit of uh, animosity amongst everybody there. Uh, but nonetheless, yes, that's the plot of the film. John must save the day, save his family, and by this, he may actually save his marriage as well, too, uh, and save the world. So, like, yeah, like I said, it's very, very familiar uh, aspects of the plot that you've seen in <laughs> numerous other films, but it wasn't about that. It was truly about the fight. The action, choreography, the stunt work, the effects, I thought it was all very, very good. So very solid action, the effects, the practical effects were good. And then when you came to the special effects, like you noticed them, but they wasn't over the top. So I thought they really blended in very well with the practical effects. And then when you talked about the hand-in-hand -hand combat and the choreography, it was just good, the entire film. It just kept getting better and better. And I'll be honest, there was parts of the film that I thought it peaked really high. And I was like, oh, there's no way the final act's going to be able to top this. And certainly enough, when it came down to, uh, well, our big baddie and Cooper versus Michael, what would that be like? What would that fight be like? And it did not disappoint. It was actually kind of, I was just surprised how good it was. You know, I, I did not think that it was going to 
a rise to all the other good fights that we had seen previously in the film. So yeah, the the final the final act, the final fight was definitely worth the wait. Um, and, and like I said, I didn't care too much about the plot developments or anything. I was just there for the fighting. Um, I do want to know, and this is kind of like of a weird like I don't know like tidbit from this film. But uh, Angelina, the daughter uh, who plays Anna, I gotta say she really nailed her performance in being that very pesky daughter who is like she's like a thorn in the foot to everybody because she's definitely using her mouth in ways that just only cause more trouble she was talking back to the mercenaries and like i'm like oh this is not gonna do good and then she kind of blew her father's cover at times like she was definitely way more outspoken than she should have been and there's just so many different times where she's just like Oh my God, Anna, just chill, don't do anything. But, um, you know, I thought she nailed her performance in being that that uh, very over-assertive uh, teenager um, in, in, in a very dire situation. That could have been detrimental to everybody, but she was definitely pro her dad. She's like, listen, my dad gonna come in here and he gonna, he gonna beat everybody. And yeah, she wasn't lying. <laughs> so, but I enjoyed this film and I definitely enjoyed this film a lot more than I thought I would because like, I, yes, I was very much expecting John to be good. Um, but the entire time of the film, I was just waiting for the next fight, waiting for the next fight. And they were just continuously getting better. And I thought that John uh, really, really brought it. And, and then definitely hats off to the other folks because when it comes down to fight choreography, it is a tangle. It is a party of two or more. Um, and for the other folks who I may not, who I have not named, I mean, yes, you got to have a dance partner to really bring this to life. And I thought all of those folks also really made these fights work. They were super enjoyable. I enjoyed the effects and the stunts. And I just, man, I, 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 I just really had a good time with this film. So, yeah, check it out, man. We're getting 2023 started off on a good foot when it comes down to martial arts, man. And, and, and granted, granted, let me just add a little bit more transparency to this, too. There's been a lot of good independent martial arts film especially during the pandemic. So I've been very much keen on seeing more and more. So when I saw that John was the lead and I saw that it was an independent film, I was like, yeah, this 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 is going to be something. And 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 certainly by not having a big budget, a big uh, a big box office budget for this film, it's certainly a big studio budget, whatever. Uh, it still felt like a very strong production that you just enjoy the entire you will enjoy the entire time but yeah folks jump in the comments man let me know your thoughts about this when you check it out because certainly you need to go check this out and as always stay tuned for more reviews very soon